Hi YouTube, I am back with a pick a card. This one was requested as well. Thank you so much for the suggestions guys because seriously, uh, <laughs> sometimes of course I have other ones that are that I feel inspired at the moment and that's when, if I feel inspired at the moment, I'll do that one first because that just lets me know that somebody needs to hear it. So, um, but I do take down your suggestions. I do have some other ones coming up <laughs> that I just got inspired today. But um, this one I haven't done in a long time. So I really want to do this one. Get it out. And somebody did ask for it as well. So hopefully this will help that person and other people too. So we have four crystals here which I really love. These came out. I pulled them out and see. Um, I have not checked the message on it because I did pull them out with an intention. But we have the green crystal here. Green. We have this orange lime. Not orange. I mean green lime crystal. I don't know the names of it, but I'll read them off when I go <laughs> when I get to the pile. So we got the orange crystal here, and then we got this colorful cool one. I love. So. Go ahead and make your selection and then we'll see what you need to know about your career and finances. Okay. So hopefully this one's a good one. Okay. So let's get started with the green crystal here. Okay. You can pause it if you need more time as always. So let's see what we have for the green crystal. We have green calcite fertility abundance growth venus and cancer Ooh, so there's growth here there's potential for abundance coming in um surrounding okay positivity of course that's what green calcite brings but with the message here it's that there's opportunities for growth and abundance so we're let's see perfect timing everything's coming in at the perfect time money blocks there could be some money blocks but i feel like with this timing thing i feel like somebody here is feeling impatient and that's what's blocking the money coming in okay so we have promoter okay there could be um you know it could be somebody here that is Careers in nightlife industry, events, restaurants, um, could be something like that that someone here is interested in. If not, maybe it's a, there is a project or a new idea that um, has a lot of potential for success here. Okay, so use the law of attraction for money. Um, be the energy you want to attract. See, that's what I was getting here. Be the energy that you want to attract because it kind of feels like your blockage in money could be the way that you're thinking or feeling about money, okay? Beware, okay? Careful who you talk to about your your ideas, your money, your business, anything like that because there could be some people that are envious, give you the evil eye, okay? So be careful. Don't make, don't make any type of financial commitments right now. Just take things easy. Go with the flow. Okay. But do be careful. Okay. Yeah. Things are not what they seem. So if you've been thinking a lot like negative, that doesn't, see, that doesn't mean that you're not, your abundance is not coming in. Okay. And whatever you're working on. I'm giving you a chance to look in the mirror and face yourself in order to create change from within. So I feel like there is some kind of blockage here, but it's meant to block you so you can really reflect and change change something within. Mm -hmm. Face yourself in order to create change within. I feel like it's a lot about you, the way that you're thinking, the way that you're feeling. So be careful because I'm getting, I keep getting that. I keep getting it. Sorry if I'm repeating myself, but it keeps coming up as that's like a message. Let it go. See, um, it can be hard to keep a smile while sim sim simultaneously, sorry, I can't even speak tonight, avoiding, <laughs> avoiding being pushed beyond your boundaries, but it's best to take the high road and let things 
go avoid certain situations that bring you down certain situate or certain thoughts try to change those thoughts by transmuting the energy like putting your focus somewhere else somewhere good um letting things just be okay so let's see what's going on in your career i could not find my other career business cards okay so that's a sign that i need to reorganize my co my collection <laughs> um i don't like losing especially my cards my deck of cards Let's see, what do we have here for career? Oh, wow. See, be careful with the people around you. There could be some envy, envious people. Maybe the environment that you're in drains you. These people might be draining your energy or making you feel a certain way or thinking a certain way. You're needing to let that go. Cut off any negativity, guys. I'm feeling here that... You're disappointed or disappointed over something, and I feel like it's the people around you or the environment you're in. Okay, you're needing to really focus. Stay focused on yourself. The Nine of Pentacles. Stay focused on yourself, on your mind, body, and soul. Stay grounded. Um, continue finding that independence. Okay. Reflect on what is it that you're thinking here, because you have potential. You're needing to see. You're needing to stay centered, grounded, look at things different, uh, relax, meditate, do some yoga. Career for this pile of spirit lines. Mm, see? If you're persistent, strategic, and you keep going, you're going to have a windfall of money or something that is long lasting. Something that will bring in long lasting abundance. Uh, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so that is what I'm getting here. Let me grab some more. Some more messages for this pile of spirit guides. More on their career. It's it's gonna come in in perfect timing. Okay, whatever you're working on. Ultimate love. Forgive others and yourself. Release past. Send love light. Change inner to change outer. See? Change. Reflect on what you've been thinking about. What you've been saying. What you've been putting out there. Be what you want to attract. Um, where did I read that? Um be the energy you want to attract okay so i'm getting a lot of the ch change within changing within meaning once you change your vibration you know let's see give me more on releasing what's happened from the past because i do have that here as well with the five of cups disappointments from the past that you might be still that might be hindering you at times because of maybe confidence um self-esteem okay so really get rid of those energies um let's see see freedom free yourself from what's holding you back it's time to move forward see um Something from the past that could be hindering you. Divine help. You are protected. Your guardian angels are working with you. Okay. So maybe the way that you're thinking too is like, I'm not getting anywhere. Nothing's moving forward. I have some blockages here. Um, when is this perfect timing coming in? You're needing to let that go and just re refocus to you. Okay. Yeah, that is what I have here for this pile. I hope that helps. Okay. So, let's keep going. I do see Pisces, Earth Signs, Aquarius, Water, Air, Virgo. 
earth. Okay, the challenge here is to take action towards that new new um, creation, that new idea, whatever. Um, keep going. Focus on it. Okay. So that is what I have for this pile. Thank you so much for watching. Let's move forward. Let's see. Second pile. Let's see what do we have for this pretty one. We have decision. Sorry about that. I sneezed. I hate doing that on my microphone. Anyways, we have decisions, flow, big picture. So Aquarius or moon and Aquarius here. Somebody here is not seeing the big picture of things. Maybe you're needing to maybe get a vision board. Uh, we have wave light. That's the crystal here. Maybe you're needing to go with the flow of things or needing to make a decision in order to move forward from something. Um, there could be decisions here. Um, clearing your energy blockages from your body or your, your environment here. Really focused on your healthy body. Deep soul level cleaning. Meaning, um, you know, doing salt baths and all those rituals. To clear the energy, maybe you're needing to do that as well. Because there might be some blockages here in energy. So you're needing to do that. Um, sacrifices need to be made. Interesting, this is the first time I see this card. So there might be some sacrifices you're needing to make here. You're about to land a badass job position. Wow, love it. So, but it's going to take some sacrificing here. I don't know what it is, but we have be a sport. Maybe you're into sports or health, fitness, career, something like that. Or something in the health business. Maybe you're a life coach or a healer or something like that. Um, we are, if not, then it's really, spirit really wants you to be a team player wherever you're at. Um working on what you're working and have more fun or focus on being a team player we have improving your finances by considering working as a team or doing collaborations with someone maybe you're needing to collaborate or just i feel like having more fun too because there might be some sacrifices you're making and at the same time you want to you want to love what you do, so try to make it a fun place to... We have life purpose. Whatever you're doing is your life purpose. You might be getting some ideas or brainstorming here on what you, um, getting some inspirations. Um, I feel like you're being guided, so listen to that calling, okay? What is meant for you will not leave you as long as you continue to push forward. Perseverance. Keep going, Okay. Ask for what you need and things will align for you to carry out your vision. I'm also getting vision board here. Okay, maybe you're needing to do that too. Maybe doing something to keep in front of you and to remind you what you're doing, what you're doing. Because you might be finding yourself sacrificing things um, or you're, you know, so keeping a reminder in front of you. And emergence. I'm lifting you out of darkness to remember who you truly are. Birth a new you and a new life. Maybe you've gone through some transformation. You're going through some transformation and you're finding whatever you've gone through. Like this is a gift from the universe. Like it's really whatever you've gone through. It's like a blessing in disguise because it's pushing you to your life purpose. You're finding your life purpose. So see the bigger picture. Like I said, we did have it here. And I, I I don't know if I said it. I already forgot. But big picture would be like your vision board. Or writing down your dreams. Writing down. Um, and it works. Even if you write down a list. Trust me. I never thought it would work. I thought maybe a vision board would work. But. Um, when I separated I <laughs> from my twin, I lost everything. Like I haven't had no bed, no couch. It, he took it all. 
and I wrote down what I needed. I needed a bed. I needed a couch. I needed TV. You know, so after like a month or two, I don't know how I did it, but these things just came to me, and finally I had a home again. <laughs> um so it does work even if you list them i had them listed on my phone on my notepad you know it works guys it works so we have profiling careful not to judge someone by by what they seem to be you run the risk of being wrong and losing out take the time to know more you could be pleasantly surprised yes you could guys when i used to work for uh I know this is is not about me but this is what's coming to me don't judge um homeless out there there's no reason to be homeless anymore but i've worked with homeless before housing them and stuff like that before that i would judge homeless but when i got to know homeless they're so down to earth they were so nice they were so loving they were like there's just people that that don't want to live by the rules and i get that um there's a lot like that here in california but don't judge okay I really do things with good intentions um i've worked with a lot of of course that was too stressful for me so i left it but it was an amazing amazing job because it felt so rewarding um you know and before that i judged i judged it was an awakening for me you know like i was too scared of them i was too i don't know i always thought of course you got your bad and good out there but a lot of them are pretty down to earth if you ask me pretty down to earth anyway so don't judge uh, also i know a lot of readers probably judge other readers for doing third party readings and i do third party readings i don't judge and i go i try to go in it um you know try to go neutral in in it into the readings because everyone has their path nobody can judge another person for what they do you know um everyone has their path so you might be wrong you know if you're profiling or or if you're just you know being biased sometimes so let's see i don't know why this came out so maybe somebody needs to hear it okay <laughs> let's see give me more on this person's career more messages on the career so I feel like you're on your life purpose. Why do I feel that somebody here has been questioning if they've missed their opportunity here for something good? Um, maybe you've wasted a lot of time on something and somebody here is feeling like your dreams are impossible because you've already wasted a lot of time on the wrong people, wrong places but i feel like the queen of pentacles you're very well grounded you know what you want and you're you might be working through it again you you've been through something here and you're leaving the darkness to go into the light not <laughs> not that light but i mean not the bad light <laughs> um more like happiness you're leaving something behind that kept you probably hindered or stunted your growth that's what i'm getting as well yeah i feel like you are escaping something that was meant to it was going to bring you down you're of uh, you're coming out of something and you're yep i told you something here is turning around for you um the wheel of fortune you might be getting a new house i'm getting too you've been working a lot you've been trying to walk away from things that don't serve you that emotionally drained you and you're learning a lot about your spiritual path your life purpose and you're i feel like you are learning a lot 
about this and you're becoming the empress or the emperor here somebody that is you know abundant and we have badass job um, and position coming up for you that's going to bring abundance you might be also a healer a psychic or something like that i'm getting to here with with this i don't know why why am i getting that i don't know it's weird so two of cups it could have been an awakening here um, because you, I feel like there was a challenge here in love and that's what pushed you into your life purpose. That usually does happen sometimes. Let's see. What does this group need to know, Spirit Guides? About their life purpose, their career, their finances. Okay. I think I took out more cards than here. Conflicted. Whatever you choose will be right choice. Trust in yourself. Okay. So some of you are probably needing to make a decision. Since life is all about change, stubbornness is effectively a resistance to life itself. So don't, don't resist the change that is coming okay you're probably going to resist it and you're going to be conflicted you are going through some kind of change it's gonna there might be some sacrifices you're needing to make and you're you might be you might miss an opportunity here because we do have missed opportunity if you don't want to take this job or position you're needing to sacrifice something here okay this is very specific, so it might not be for everyone. Perspective. Gaining clarity. See other side. Consideration. Impression versus fact. Taking responsibility for your life. So taking responsibility. Um, looking at things from a different perspective here. Really, really think about the... The impression versus the facts. Get all the facts. I would go with the facts when it comes to career. <laughs> and with whatever you really feel um, alive, happy. Of course, it's not always going to be like that because it is work. It is career. You have to work, work, work. So I feel like you're needing to really look at things from a different perspective. And making a choice over something. Okay. Okay. So don't be scared of change because I feel like this change is going to bring in abundance. Okay, so that is what I have here. I do see air. I see earth, water, Taurus, um, water, Taurus, Libra, Sag, water, Cancer, Pisces. Okay, that is what I have. Thank you so much for watching. Let's move forward. Okay, okay orange. Okay, I needed to drink some water here. Well, we have citrine. Ooh. This is a train. Doesn't even look like it. Well, kind of does, but I got citrine here. So, citrine is good for abundance, which is interesting because I did. I did. Uh, my intention to pull these out was for money, finances. We have creativity, happiness, manifestation. So I do see Aries, Gemini, Lib Leo, Libra. There is some powerful and it's a powerful and energizing stone. Okay, so we have happiness coming in. Good vibes. Okay, so maybe you're manifesting something. Um, your creativity is what is bringing in this happiness. You're manifesting something. Yes, law of attraction. <laughs> manifesting. Ooh, 
cursed career i didn't expect that okay so some of you i'm i'm getting here that you're needing to think more um uh, think more um it's your negative thinking that is affecting this law of attraction okay so if you're thinking that you have a cursed career um try to transmute that energy into something good okay um so really change the way that you're thinking i i feel some blockage um who else had this i think it was a uh, first the first pile we have planner okay pay attention to detail and create a plan to grow your business or financial or personal finances career in event planning or project manager professional organizer could be for you uh, for some of you this is a great time to take a financial inventory and see what it what needs changing maybe you're needing to change something in your career maybe you need to um we have retail here maybe you you have a career in e-commerce or in retail um, goods or services here um but there is a green light here um we if you have an idea in mind this is giving you the green light that there is a need for it so you're needing to really go for it if you are thinking of a plan here put your plan into action okay Okay, so we have save time, energy, and add passive income by taking your business online. Maybe you're needing to also go online. Um, think of ways on how to promote your product, your services here, or, hmm, yeah, or you're needing to plan something. Or there is a green light on an idea that you have, okay? It's not going to resonate for everybody, but because not everybody is planning on, you know, selling something online. Uh, we have mind power. See, it is the way that you're thinking. So you're needing to really master your mind with the ability to transform and create through elevated thoughts. See, I thought so because we have what's being highlighted to me is this um, brain here, this, the way that you're thinking here about money, your relationship to money. Like I was telling, I think it was the first pile. It works, guys. I really do believe in law of attraction. And plus, we all have those transits in astrology where it pushes our energy and we manifest it, you know because of the energy that we're in the universe helps the planets help the energy the transits at that time so you never know when you're gonna hit that transit and it's gonna and you've already been working towards it okay so we have divine timing oh you can relax now and stop worrying. There are ma many powerful, enlightened, loving beings coming your way to assist you. Your future is bright and totally flawless. See? Your future is bright. It's just divine timing right now. Like I was saying, you know, um, keep working. Relax. Because when that time hits, when that transit, when Jupiter hits your chart or Venus or, you know those transits when you hear an astrologer say you know jupiter's going into your sign this or your eighth house saturn living leaving your eighth house that's when you know whoa something big is coming you know like there is gifts and it that is what i call divine timing sometimes when when the universe is conspiring but you're doing your part as well you need to do your part Okay, so let's see. What do we have for the third group? Yep, see, doing your part. Eight of Pentacles. Putting in the work. Putting in what the work that you need. That, that needs, that is needed. You could be feeling a little lost right now. Um, the way that you're thinking, this is a lack mentality. 
you you might have um, your environment around you, negative people, maybe even at work, maybe naysayers. So be careful with those people stealing from you energetically wise. We have the Six of Pentacles. You know, maybe you are being a service to others, but some of some people are taking advantage of that. So be careful with that kind of energy. Yep. Cut out all those negative negativity because see, there is an opportunity of growth here manifesting um, cutting that, cutting what doesn't serve you, any negative vibes, people, the environment. Try to stay clear on what you really want. We have the Ace of Swords with the Empress. The Empress brings a message of growth, um, growth, abundance, um, long lasting abundance. Yeah, four of pentacles. Okay, so you might be stressing a lot over the people. There could be a lot of clutter. Maybe you're holding on to something that doesn't serve you. Could be this environment or people around you. You're needing to let that go. Take action towards what you really want. Okay, that's what I keep getting. Let's see. Any other messages for pile three? surprise see divine timing i was looking at divine timing so something magical and unexpected is on its way let life surprise you solution the solution is at hand don't give up before the miracle happens don't give up okay keep going let's see what else we have for this pile of spirit guides perseverance i think i said perseverance right Push through. Future you now. You already, you are already that person deserving. You have arrived. Bucket list achieving your dreams. You're going to achieve your dreams. Keep going. Don't let this negativity get to you. Okay, don't curse your own self. If you think that there's a curse on you, you're giving it more power even though there isn't. Okay, by thinking that way. So that is a tip there. The only the only reason spells work is because you're putting that energy into it. You're feeding in energy. So be careful what you're saying, what you're thinking, because that is the energy that you're in putting in. Okay, so be careful. Be careful. <laughs> um, it's like that book. What is it? I forgot what that book is. The five, is it the five languages? The five, I forgot. But it says that your tongue can work for black magic or for white magic. Something like that. Sorry, I'm bad at quotes. So we have fire, it could be Leo. We have Taurus, Libra, earth signs, air signs. Um, fire, earth, okay, and Pisces, see? Don't feel stuck. You're probably feeling stuck. You're needing to see things from a different perspective. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. Let's move forward. Okay. Let's see. I love this crystal. Let's see what it is. Sorry, you guys. Um, my brother came. So I had to open the door. <laughs> so we have... This crystal, this crystal is really nice. I love it. It's Ethiopian opal. So it brings a message of rebirth, portal, desire. We have Virgo, Sagittarius, um, could be a Gemini too. Here in this, in this pile. So somebody here is going through some kind of rebirth or there is some... Yeah, I feel like rebirth. There could also be, you know, an inner new energy coming through for you. Beautiful. Look at that. So we have time to think, 
to take things to the next level Ooh, caution won't end well okay so be careful we'll we'll look more into it maybe there is um you're wanting to take things really quick to the next level so be careful what you're going through there is some change look at that maybe you're going through some kind of rebirth or some loss we have loss too so there is a change for the better coming your way after some loss could be as well for some of you so the change embrace it just because you don't see any movement it doesn't mean nothing is happening sometimes to see change you must be the change okay maybe you're needing to change something within you um we have loss that's interesting because last night I had a, t a tornado um, dream. I don't know why. Expect some financial turmoil in the near future. A job loss could make it difficult to keep control of your money. You will have to work really hard to make ends meet. Okay, so if you are getting over this, there is some change coming. Somebody needs to hear this. It's not going to be for everyone, but there is good change coming. Okay. Okay. But I'm not sure why we have the caution. For some of you, if you're not feeling this loss yet, there might be. So take your time if you're trying to take things to the next level in your career, your business, whatever. Something here, okay? So be careful. There's a warning here. We have healer. I want you to know you have the power to heal yourself and others through your own magic. So you might be a healer or... You're needing to also be the change, okay? There could be some energies here from the past that are hindering you. If you've just gone through some kind of loss, you're needing to heal that first. Um, yeah, because how I'm feeling that there is there needs to be some healing before you can start helping others. You know, so maybe you're needing to go through some kind of healing process or maybe there's still some residual here from some kind of loss. Um, clear your energy, clear out clutters, clear out to bring in that new energy. I feel like you're going through a rebirth, though. So you might be in the even in the in the how do I say like a, you could be a coach, life coach, a healer, meaning a doctor, a nurse, uh, something in the in the nursing field anything that is a service to others but make sure that you are also taking care of you plastic perhaps you're relying too much on the outer experience appearances and not enough on what makes you beautiful you true beauty comes when you focus on both your inner and outer beauty yes focus on you you uh, like your true self your authentic self your genuine self like healing i'm still getting healing by that okay don't be fooled by the appearances of how everything looks because everything takes work everything takes work. um even to work on ourselves building that confidence from whatever loss we've gone through even if it's financial loss you know, sometimes we lose our confidence with that too. Let's see what else we have here for this pile of spirit lines. Yep, look at that. Three of swords. There needs to be some healing or you might be going through some kind of um, ending. And something that's hindering what this change that's coming up that you're needing to level up okay see more crying healing of uh, the queen of chalices um yeah using your intuition okay you've gone through some kind of loss i feel like your spirit guides are there guiding you though king of chalices Ooh, with some kind of I feel like it could be a true soulmate, a twin flame. Yep. Some kind of judgment. Something here happened that you needed to pull the plug. You were pressured. Something that could not be avoided. 
we have the knight of pentacles with the queen of pentacles so it took you there is an awakening here that happened as well you are slowly finding yourself back you're putting in the energy the work into something that's going to bring in a dream come true you're putting in the work to heal yourself as well so that's good that's good what is this caution okay so whatever didn't end well here you're gonna get a wish fulfillment and it's gonna bring in a lot of emotionally emotional fulfillment okay whatever didn't end well it i don't know if maybe it was a family uh, a marriage that didn't end well you're going towards something a lot more it's a wish fulfillment okay so be careful what you wish for i'm also getting for some of you okay so be careful what you wish for for others of you whatever didn't end well don't go back to it because whatever is ahead of you is the nine of cups and the ten of cups that's a emotional fulfillment wish fulfillment um you're needing to it's time for you to level up Give me more of this time to level up. Mm -hmm. Nave of Wands going towards something. Yep, level up. Be careful with the people around you. Be careful with envious people as well. Okay. Um, go Going towards your dreams. Going towards... Some of you are healers here. I feel like you're needing to really use your intuition here. Like I said, be careful what you wish for, for some of you, because it kind of seems like you're still wishing for something from the past or something that maybe it's not even for you. So really use your intuition on this one. Give me more on this pile of spirit guides on their finances and career. negativity yeah like i said be careful with the people around you distorted view wounds of course your wounds are always going to kind of um blind you from what you really need to what you really um blind your intuition you know fog your intuition here your wounds here so you're needing to really work on you Okay, complaining, negative, self-talk, self-sabotage, outside influences. And we have that here too. So you might be attracting that neg negativity. You're needing to really work on you so you can vibrate higher. So and you can attract what you're really trying to, to achieve here. Okay. This is very vague, but... I didn't really get anything about career. It kind of seems like somebody here is a healer. Um, or you're just needing this healing. So you can um, really have some kind of changes come in, coming in. It's time to take action towards your level up. See? Burdens and rebirth wanted to come out. Release the burdens you've been carrying. Give them to your angel rebirth again which we have here rebirth and then we had rebirth i forgot where <laughs> the death of yesterday is a birth of a new life embrace the change see we have change here okay this is for somebody here see the bottom of the deck it's your intuition you're needing to listen to it Okay, connect with the magic of your intuition to be led into the next phase. To be led into this next level up. The next level. Okay. Wow. I wonder who that is for. Um, I hope it helped whoever needed this message. So we have water. We have Taurus. We have Pisces. We have Aquarius. A lot of Earth. A lot of water, Scorpio, Cancer, um, Air, Scorpio again, Sagittarius, 
okay and in this new clear beginning is ahead of you see relax do some self healing self-love self-care okay so that is what i have thank you so much for watching and i'll be back later take care of you bye